Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Upper Room. This week, we are talking about Easter, the greatest time uh, in the Christian faith. The most impressive time is Easter, the greatest fulfillment of God's uh, promise to Israel was the birth of Jesus on Christmas. And Easter is the fulfillment of Christ's mission uh, here on earth. Um, the best part about Easter is Christ's uh, um, defeat of death, sin, and Satan. When you look at the cross, you can see your sin and the punishment that you deserve in Jesus Christ, because Jesus took the punishment for you. The resurrection is proof that Jesus is who he said that he was. It is the supporting evidence that give that is given to all of us that Jesus didn't just say these things. He proved it because he resurrected from the dead. Um, the resurrection is proof that we too will live forever. As, uh, as we are followers of Jesus Christ. Jesus made us this promise. He also made us a promise to his disciples that he is with them till the end of the age. So we are given the Holy Spirit at baptism. We are given the gifts of the Holy Spirit at confirmation. And on Easter, we celebrate this resurrection from death to life eternal in Christ Jesus, because this is what's going to happen for us those who are who die in Christ as Christians, um, because they though they die just like Jesus did, they too will be resurrected from the dead, um, and this is what we as Christians believe. Uh, in um, in the last days, there will be the resurrection. So Jesus is proof of that of these accounts that were spoken of in the Book of Revelations. Um, and so this is a wonderful day for all Christians everywhere because there are many spiritual teachers in the world. Um, Muhammad, Buddha, um, different yoga, yoga teachers, um, all of them promise a, you know, um, a better way of life. Uh, but none of them came back to life after death. Um, and none of them made a promise that if we follow them, though we die, we will live forever and proved it like Jesus did. So that's the difference between following Jesus and any other spiritual teacher, is that Jesus promises that you will live again. No other spiritual teacher can make you that promise. And no other, other spiritual teacher has. That's why I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian because I love Jesus, because he takes his time with each and every one of us. He makes it a point and essential to to notice small and significant people like you and me and makes it a point to, to, to use us um, for the greater good of mankind and for the good um, of heaven and to bring him glory. Um, and, and it's just a wonderful, beautiful thing that each and every man and woman on earth is held with great value for God. And those who follow his son um, are under the covenant of his blood that was poured out, poured out for us on the cross and our sins are forgiven. Our sins are, have been washed clean. We have washed our robes um, white in the blood of the Lamb. And so today, uh, tomorrow on Easter, I say today because well, tonight we'll have the Easter Easter vigil. Um, that's why I'm a little um, taken aback because tomorrow is Easter, but tonight we'll have the Easter vigil uh, for Mass. But today, yesterday was Good Friday. Jesus died on the cross. They took him down from the cross. They buried him in the tomb. He was buried in the tomb during the Jewish Sabbath, which was on Saturday. And they didn't finish. They, um, uh, they didn't completely finish the burial. And so uh, um, after they rolled the stone away, I mean, put the stone in front of the tomb because the sun was setting. It was getting late. They had to get inside because uh, according to Jewish law, they aren't to do any work on the Sabbath. That's nothing. Okay, they couldn't do nothing, anything. They couldn't do anything. Excuse me. Um, and so, and so they were returning. Mary, Mary Magdalene, uh, his mother Mary, uh, and, um, 
There was another Mary there. There was a lot of Marys in those days. They were returning to the tomb. Um, and they were even discussing, it's in scripture, uh, which one of them would roll away the stone because it was so large and heavy. Uh, but when they arrived, the stone was already rolled away. And Mary was the one who entered and saw uh, someone that she thought was a gardener. And then he, she didn't recognize him at first because she didn't see Christ's body there. And she told the gardener, please tell me what you have done with my Lord. Where have you taken him? And then he said, Mary. And she recognized him and, and it was the Christ. It was Jesus. Um, and so she, Jesus chose uh, Mary to be the apostle of the apostles. So she's the first one who witnessed his resurrection and sent and went to the other disciples of Jesus, to Peter, James, John, all of the other apostles, and told them, I saw him, he's alive, he's well. Um, and then they came to see for themselves. And so not finding his body there, they returned to the upper room as well. And later Jesus appeared there with the windows and doors shut. Uh, and they even thought it was a ghost. And Jesus said, touch me. Uh, uh, is a ghost of flesh and blood. And they did. And he even asked for something to eat. He asked for a broiled fish and he ate it. He stayed with the apostles 44 days after that. Okay, before he ascended into Bethany, ascended into heaven at Bethany, excuse me. Um, and so today uh, we, we have many witnesses uh, um, to Christ's resurrection. And that's why many of us today, we still believe uh, in this account because it, it really happened. And Jesus is exactly who he says he is. He is the son of God. He is God in human form. He is the Messiah. He is the Christ. So, and all who will follow him will have eternal life. So I, I beg you guys, I invite you guys, please go to mass tonight. If, even if you're not Catholic, I invite you to come to, to a Catholic mass this evening at eight o'clock. Generally, most of them are at eight. Go Google Catholic Church near me. Look them up. Tonight's Mass is incredible. It is so beautiful because many catechumens, these are people who have not been baptized yet. They've been going to, to catechism. Uh, they've been going to RCIA all year. These are adults all year to become Catholic. There are also some people who have already been baptized in another Christian faith that the, that the Catholic Church does recognize as a true baptism. They are called candidates. They will be receiving uh, the uh, confirmation tonight. So it's it's really a remarkable time uh, to be Catholic, and it's and it's it's one of the most beautiful ceremonies that you will ever see in the Catholic Church. And it's another reason why uh, one of the reasons why I, I I really wanted to become Catholic. It makes you want to be a part of something like this, something so beautiful that that pertains to Jesus and links you um, to His greatness and glory. So. Um, uh, so I invite you tonight to, to look up your local parish and just to attend and see everything um, that goes on. The lights will all be shut off. We have a large candle that's lit at the beginning of the year for the entire parish. That'll be lit. Some places dip, dip it in the baptismal fountain, and then they'll light little candles off of that. And the whole room will be dark, and all these little candles will light up the room. You, can, you cannot help but get the feeling that angels are filling the room uh, and, and everyone's singing. It's really, truly beautiful. So um, thanks again for watching The Upper Room. Please share this video. Uh, happy Easter. Happy Resurrection Day. Um, I'm, ex uh, I'm so glad that we made it another year. Many of us healthy. For those of you who weren't healthy and got corona or were sick, I put, we prayed for you. We thank God that, that you're still alive and that you made it. And we thank God that we're all healthy during this time of crisis. Um, thanks again for watching Upper Room. Please subscribe below. Please share this video with your friends. Uh, and then, and um, please check out my Instagram page at Welcome to the Upper Room. Check out my gleam at, uh, on Instagram. I got t-shirts there. Or just check out the links below. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next week.